You understand? Anyways, y'all, that's it. That's all. Dancing, dancing, the fire, fire. What it do, what it do, la la gang, happy Saturday. I hope everybody out there is doing good, doing great, blessed, and staying productive. I am doing good. I am doing great, blessed, and staying productive. Let me say happy holidays to all of my beautiful la la gang and my supporters, okay? The ones that actually celebrate the holidays. Anyways, y'all, yes, y'all are getting the upload on Saturday. You didn't receive an upload yesterday. I was kind of busy. So today, y'all, I'm going to try to hit y'all with two uploads. This reaction here is basically talking about Nika and who else, okay? Nika, she, she steady want to throw shots, okay? Now, let me throw shots at It's Lala, okay? And then when I finish, I'm going to ask you how the fucking slap feel. And then also, y'all, I want to talk about... <clears throat> I want to talk about the house meeting video, okay? Thank you to the supporter, okay? Subscriber or supporter that sent me. Sent me a full little breakdown of the video, okay? Uh, I'm going to jump into that and just basically give a breakdown and talk about the situation. And then once I talk about the situation, I want to know y'all thoughts and opinions on this, okay? Because then that's where I say, Nika, what the fuck is you really giving and what is y'all really doing over there in that double wide? I mean, if we, <laughs> I save it for the video. Let's jump right on in. As y'all can see, okay, if y'all seen, she has went out and she has purchased her tree. But before I jump in the things that she has went out and done because of who? I would say the YouTube streets. Because of who? I believe people dragging her ass in the com in her comment section. Okay, I always got to turn them off. I think with the comment section, instead of getting on her ass each and every time that she posts and she leave that comment section open, I mean, maybe it's just pushing her a little bit to say, well, let me do this so they don't talk. Let me do this so they'll shut up. And then that's where I say, if that is that if that is what it takes, okay, for you to do the, do the bare, the least, of what you supposed to do, then shit, I guess people still continue need to <laughs> snatch your ass and drag your ass across the YouTube streets for your parenting and not being able to do what you need to do. So there was a few that was questioning in the comments about her having a tree before when I talked about the tree. She did. It was it was it was a real premature tree, okay? It was a small tree. I'm I, I'm saying like this, but it was about that size and yeah. Uh if you don't look, you would have missed it. But she went out and she purchased the big one. I don't know if she purchased it or maybe somebody shipped it to her or sent her a cash app or something for her to go out and get it. But as I told y'all in that video, it's not about the size of the tree. It's about giving these kids, okay, allowing them to see the lights and, and allowing them to feel like, hey, it is the holidays. Allowing them to have and see something different. Also, she put out a video where she, it was payday. Okay, y'all know how she do on payday. When she come around on payday, y'all, she's coming. She finna take y'all to go buy the snacks and do the things that she need to catch up on on payday. And not only is that what she do on payday, but on payday, she be want to talk shit. But each and every other day before payday, I'm sick. I'm not feeling good. Yeah, but as we caught her and I throw it out there to y'all, she's singing, she's doing all of the things behind the scenes, and then actually somewhere in there, I get caught while recording, and you know, my kids is in the background, and they are sleeping, they are sleeping for school. So then, with that being said, if you did not catch my last upload that I upload on Thursday, here is the thumbnail, go over and check it out. So anyways... <laughs> 
In this video, starting off, she is about to go buy gifts and the things that she needs for the kids. But what got me was, y'all, I listened to everything. She told somebody in the store, I guess it was some man or somebody she was talking to, about she has 10 children. Since she has 10 kids, okay, she is going to buy each one of her kids 10 gifts. Okay. Remember you said that we will be waiting to see, okay? Because I ain't never know you post to buy, you know, if I got 11 kids, I need to buy each one of them 11. And then that's where I would go. If, if that is the case, if you can go out and you could purchase 10 gifts a piece for your kids, why was you signing up for to get toys and shit donated to your ass. Make that make sense? Why is you out here taking from the needy, the ones that actually can't get it, don't have it, need help? Why would you take for them just because you don't want to do it? Make that make sense, okay? I, I mean, I don't get it. If you can purchase each one 10 gifts and then you give Papa and uh, Naya money, if that's what you do, oh, okay. Damn, same type to me. Naya just wanted you to buy her two pearl pajama pants. You can't even come up off $18 for her. Telling her to put it back, go to Rose's. She can get it for six. Dang, always trying to hold on to a dollar. Don't want to do nothing. But do you see what she do for you every day? Holding the camera. Do you see what she do when she, you were sick and she went in the kitchen and cooking and doing all those things? I guess you don't see it because then that's where we go. It's another situation and a situation that's all about her. Then I also want to talk about the comments that y'all made. If Nika got jealous of Naya and how she cooked and served the food and how she made enough food, do you think she felt some type of way? Do you think she said something? At the end, I don't know, okay? But a lot of the actions, if y'all heard also in this video, Naya was talking about somebody on YouTube making some type of breakfast sandwich from McDonald's. Naya said, ooh, I'm gonna make that. Nika shut that shit down real quick and said, no, you not. Your stomach hurts. So then that's where I say, why is it if, if her stomach is hurting or not, if this is something what she want to make, why she can't make it? So then that's where I say, the actions, the actions might not show, but you could sure hear them, okay? You can hear the things that she does not like, okay? I also want to say thank you to everybody, okay, that... Talked about Naya and her cooking, okay, and how good it looked and probably was and how good she did. Here we go. Slap you. Let you know I, I might be jealous and feel some type of way, but y'all have to remember, okay? I thank and appreciate you, but y'all have to remember she learned from the best. She learned from me. I taught her. I showed her. There's no fucking way. <laughs> There's no way, Okay. She watched videos. She also worked for fast food places and she takes time, okay, and put the love in to make it presentable, to make you say, mmm, that look good. Look at yourself in the mirror. That's the same way your food look. Like nasty, slop, disgusting. So how is it that you say thank you, but Everybody that's trying to drag me down for my cooking and what I do, I'm the one that taught her. Why your shit don't look like that? Not even on a good day. <laughs> it look bad each and every day. You never look, you never cook where we say, hmm, she did good today. That that looks good. I think the only thing that is is a fucking pancake. And it don't take much to do that. So yes. Naya does her thing. She put time in, okay? She take her time, patience, and the love in for her siblings, unlike Nika. Also, let's jump and talk about Naya and her pills, okay? She's taking Naya to pick up her medication. Who is the medication for? Oh, she still has to take medication and pain for her arm? Wow. Oh, okay. Seems like her arm is doing pretty good to me. But somewhere behind it, maybe y'all need it, right? Oh. So she's going out and she's going to Family Dollar. She's going to Dollar Tree and she also went to Roses, okay? She went there and also going to Walmart. Let's remind you, she just had got her food stamps, right? She Y'all remember she went to the store and she had two baskets where she bought all this 
I wouldn't say it was enough food. She bought a lot of snacks, this and that. And then I'll have to agree with y'all, the ones that say in the comments, this chick here does not know how to shop. She does not know how to shop of having the household size that she have. I have to agree with y'all on that. And then watching somebody that actually at the end of the day have all these food stamps and you don't know how to shop to have enough and make enough stretch into lease when it's time next month. I mean, shit, that's a whole problem. Uh, she's in the store. She's buying, as you can see all the time, boxes of cereal. Just little this and that that she needs to purchase and put back in the house. But what I want to talk about is she out here and she's purchasing gifts from Roses and I believe Family Dollar. I didn't see nothing from Dollar Tree. But then I will ask you, okay, you buying the gifts and you showing that, what are you going to cook? What are you going to cook for Christmas, okay? We seen you out buying everything for the, for the holiday of Thanksgiving, okay? Buying a turkey and doing all these things. What are you going to cook for your kids on Christmas? Are you just going to... Try to shut the people up with saying she not going to get them kids nothing. She not, you know, I would think that you wouldn't get them anything. It's because every year people always have to donate and give you shit in order for your kids to have something good or something different. You understand? Because you don't give that. So it's surprising to see that this time, okay, you want to do it. And then that's where I say it, it takes... <laughs> It takes the mouth and lighting the match and putting that fire up under her dirty ass for her to move. Okay? But then that's where I would come in question and say, what are they going to eat on this day? What is your special meal that you're going to cook up? Or is you going to allow Naya to get in the kitchen and actually put some real shit together? I'm saying. Okay? Because you and your spaghettis and your hamburger helper with all this sugar, we don't want to see the shit. We don't. And I know them kids don't want to eat it. This video, she's driving. You know what's funny to me, y'all? Ever since I made a video talking about shit, why is she always showing the clouds, the clouds and the trees? Nobody want to see that shit. I mean, if I want to see it, I walk outside my house, I look out my window, okay? Or I go on a trail or a walk to just enjoy it. I mean, I don't need you to show me this. And I mean, what am I looking at? She ain't been showing it too much because in every video, that's what y'all will get, okay? So many minutes of just look at the clouds and the trees. Nobody wants to see that shit. I think it's a sad situation when the reactors and TikTok and all these different apps and, and, and you're supposed to be bookies in the comments have to force and make you. Make you try to do something for your kids. If it wasn't for us talking, your kids wouldn't even have a Thanksgiving and eating some type of different food that they actually enjoy. <laughs> if it wasn't for us, okay, your kids wouldn't even have the Christmas tree or none of the things that they have now. We have to call your dirty ass out because you are disgusted of everything that you give and you do. And that's sad. It takes social media, YouTube, and the YouTube streets get on my ass in order for me to try to do something don't even matter if it's real or fake as long as them kids have what they need when they need it and need to enjoy what they need to enjoy when it's time to enjoy it. <laughs> that's all that fucking matters and then that's where I will continue to say that hit dog will always fucking holler but at some point it's gonna put the tail between its legs and run where the hell it's supposed to be at that time and at that moment and do what the hell they need to do. Cause you know, she made the comment. Y'all remember she went to, I don't know if it was Family Dollar, Dollar General, one of them dollar stores, hell. She went in and y'all said that y'all seen her picking up deodorant. Okay, how many kids do she have? Let's see. I would include Naya because Naya still needs her to buy her things. I would include Papa and I would include the rest of the kids, okay? Except for Sasa and maybe Lena. It gives you a total of eight, okay? Eight people within the house, including herself, I would say shit, and herself, okay? Nine that need deodorant. Why would you buy one, one thing of deodorant? And as I told y'all... 
Okay. Well, Papa walking around and he musty. And she's saying it might be the deodorant still on your jacket or it didn't wash good. Okay. She not giving nobody else deodorant and she keeping the deodorant that's supposed to be in her bathroom or somewhere within the house. I mean, in the kitchen cabinet, in the, in the pantry. I mean, wherever she might keep it. She have it in the car, stored in the car. Then she want to make the comment of, uh, let me get my deodorant and put it on. Because Lala, yep, Lala have a lot to say about everything that your dirty ass do. Everything. Because it's something about you, 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 with everybody and what they speak and what they give, with your comment section, with your own bookies, okay, with your own bookies that tend to watch you okay and tend to come come in good things and advice trying to help you but somewhere in there you you block them or you turn a comment off so they come over here and see what i got to say and then they comment these same ones okay and then that's where i say have bookies supporters lala gang lala everybody that say something about your ass and point out the shit that you do not is it not only that you go hide under a rock or you play sick or i'm going to jail or they admitted me in the hospital or i passed out or yeah or i'm weak as fuck today you always seeing fucking stars and stripes with what everybody else is saying that's actually true about you but when it comes to you and you looking in the mirror and seeing the images of yourself, it's always fucking what? Flowers and roses, okay? You sit here and call me ugly. And so multiple videos, okay? <laughs> Not only me, y'all. I'm ugly and L Leah looks like a baboon. When Nika goes to the mirror, tell me what the fuck does she see? She see nothing but flowers and roses. Within everything, the way that she look, how she treat her kids, what type of breeder she is. She the best mother in the world. And everything that I speak, I give, and I do is flowers and fucking roses. Everything that somebody else say, say or display about me, stars and stripes, it's not real. Okay? I also want to talk about where she was saying some people from... TikTok was taking her videos and spreading it across, okay? Here we go with another lie. She said she never called Sasa a B-I-T-C-H. Clearly, y'all, we had the clip. We heard the clip. She said this B-I-T-C-H is spoiled. She said she would never call her baby that. She said we didn't listen to the clip properly, okay? She was explaining what a spoiled baby is. Okay. Then that's why I say, here's another stars and stripes and flowers and roses situation. Okay. It's another lie. It's, a, it's another lie just like uh, Elijah's jacket. Okay. His hoodie is a lie. It's, a, it's another lie just like I came on my channel and I displayed and I put out here a house meeting. Okay. Because the kids is not cleaning up. But behind all that, but behind all that, that's not what it was all about. It was about your kids peeing and pooping, okay? I put it like that, in the wrong places. That's what it was about, okay? And then I would say, how you know that that is what it was about is because you know what? Why you didn't let us hear the things that you were saying, okay? Would it add up with what you saying right now? I don't think so. And then that's where I also say actions. Actions speak louder than any fucking thing. Sometimes if you just pay attention to a person's actions, Maybe I don't have to listen to a shit you saying because you just you just summed up the whole thing. So before I jump into that video and give y'all the breakdown, I would ask Nika, why is it that your kids don't know where to go to use the bathroom? Okay. 
And then I will also ask, is that the reason why you called Elijah a nasty dog and saying he cannot come in your kitchen anymore? He cannot go in your refrigerator. He can't fix cereal. He can't fix this. And then I will also take it back to y'all already know when she first started doing the videos. Well, when I reacted on her, I would say it like that because she had already been doing videos. The bowl situation. Y'all remember somebody took the bowl and they peed in the bowl. And a lot of y'all was questioning, did she throw that bowl away? And why did the same color bowl wind up back in her kitchen? Okay. Hmm. Then I will also go back to Sasa Trey situation. Remember when they was eating noodles that night? They was looking for Sasa's tray. Sasa's tray to her high chair was in the girls' room. Naya was looking for it. When Kaya brought it to her, what did Naya say? Ew, no, uh-uh. I'm not cleaning that. So then that's where you start putting all these sums together. I mean, you start adding up all this shit. One plus one, two plus two, three plus three. Four plus four. Who's in the house? Okay. That's not going to the bathroom fully as they should. Or where they should. Damn, y'all see y'all jump shift already? Mm -hmm. Cause y'all remember, right? Remember Kira was talking about using the bathroom. Okay? Y'all remember that? Was she talking about using it in the shower or if Kira used it in the shower? Something. So then you say, what are these kids being taught? What are you training them when you coming out here and you throwing all your energy, the wrong energy, the energy that you're supposed to be reserving for your kids? You trying to throw that shit at, it's Lala, okay? That's how I hit you. I'm not gonna come back and, and, and try to Say what you look like and all this because you say I'm ugly and you say that I want you and all this. <laughs> then that's why I say, bitch, you too crusty. You too dusty. I mean, and I believe dried up and crusty in every area. But I can care less about it. The truth hit different. And it's all about how you react on it, okay? You're not going to throw me off. You're not going to knock me off. I'm still going to talk. I'm still going to say, it don't matter what you give a gift or two or tree or two, you still not about shit. And how you treat these kids and run your household is disgusting. Just like them pooping and peeing in the wrong places. Cardboard boxes. Bowls. Where else? And then you say, why is it that they don't know to go to the bathroom? So when I can come on here and I can show y'all all this shit that ain't about absolutely nothing, I need to be getting deep into my shit and fixing my shit because somewhere in there, maybe my kids need help somewhere, okay? And they can't get no help from you because you all focus on the wrong shit. You all focus on who talking about me, who dragging me, who I don't like because they speaking the truth. So I can't wait to jump on a video and say something. But then that's where I say, if you're going to speak, you need to say something fucking better. Act like you got an education. Act like it. And it, it, and it says a lot when your own 19-year-old have to tell you shit to close your mouth. Damn. Ain't you the adult in this situation? But you don't know how to handle not now situation, not even the situation with your kids. I mean, ho, ho, ho on that. Dang. Can't take you serious in no type of area. I still think at the end, you don't need them. Got these kids in a cold ass trailer, no fucking heat. But then you say I'm buying 10 gifts apiece, knowing damn well you was signing up. You was signing up for help, okay? So somebody can donate some shit. So then you tell me, None of your bookies ain't sent them kids absolutely nothing. And you rapping that shit and putting that shit under the tree like you paid for it. Okay? Because what I seen you buy wasn't too much of nothing. And then that's where I also say, why you wait till the last minute when you had 
plenty of time if you're a mother about your shit. Because somewhere in there, you still fucking forgot. You fuck, fucking forgot they got to eat. They got to eat a different meal. They can't eat spaghetti and they can't eat beans and weenies over fucking rice. They can't eat cereal. And they can't eat hamburger helper or stewed chicken. Okay? And they can't eat a plate of eggs without bread or meat. Not on this day. It's a holiday. So if you're going to get a tree and decorate the tree and you're going to buy 10 gifts a piece, match it up with a holiday dinner so they can fucking enjoy. And you know what probably would be even more better? If they had a real table to sit at, to enjoy that day. You understand? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she ugly. <laughs> I like light skin, but not her big ugly self. Girl, you should be ashamed of yourself. And the things that you say show anything. What is Lala gonna talk about, girl? You love talking about me, I know. I be getting on your ass and you can't take it. If you show nothing but clouds and trees and roads, long as there's no kids within there and nothing within the situation, shit, I ain't gonna have shit to say. But every time you come on here and put anything on display, I'm always have something to fucking say, especially when you are displaying a bunch of shenanigans, okay? So I would make your content be nothing but driving and trying to show the people the skies and trees. And guess what? That ain't what they want to see. So if you showing them that, believe it or not, the subscribers that you do have, <laughs> they gonna get lost somewhere in the beans and weenies and rice, okay? They will be. This is an unsanitized situation. Then saying in the video, doing laundry, like a mother's supposed to do, unlike so many of y'all. It's the jabs, it's the stabs, you understand? But the main one on here is saying what you can't do. And I don't wanna celebrate and I don't celebrate Christmas because, oh. Cause you can curl fucking less. I think if YouTube didn't exist, you wouldn't even celebrate nothing. Them kids wouldn't even have a tree or see what a gift is like. But since I put my 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 life out here on display and these people just be dragging me by my crochets up and down, okay? <laughs> up and down this street, okay? See the clouds and the trees on that? I gotta try to do something, okay? But I'ma try to add to it to make it seem like I did it all. But I took in so many donations taken from the kids that actually need it. I mean, then that's why I say too, where she say, oh, did you hear Naya? I don't hear shit Naya speak, okay? Just like you, I would say Naya too. She can't have a conversation or say anything to It's Lala until she is able to remove that fucking bunny. And maybe we can have some type of conversation or I can understand what she's saying. But she can't pull up a seat or sit at a table with me <laughs> with that bunny on each and every day, all fucking day. No day without it. So what are y'all talking about? I'm talking about the kids and their well-being. I'm talking about their health and the things that they need. You put more energy trying to comfort its Lala and the things that I say when I come against you, when I try to talk about the kids and the things that you should be doing for your kids. It's a whole problem when your baby is crawling on the floor, but she's crawling on her knees in a certain way that I should be using my legs and walking, but she don't see me. <laughs> she overlooked me because she too busy trying to sing and be the next America's Got Talent saying, when I make it big. Oh no, you already big in the streets. Big for neglect, big for allowing your kids to suffer and drown. Big for being all about self. Big for not taking care of your children, I'm saying. And not supporting them in the areas that they need to be supported. Then that's where I will jump back to the video that I'm gonna come back and break down. If your kids don't know where to go to relieve themselves, that's the whole problem. So even if it's the small ones or even if it may be Elijah, whoever it may be, if it's a problem or it's something wrong, that's something that you should be addressing. 
But I don't address that shit. But anything on the YouTube streets, I'm addressing it. And then let me say something else. Don't worry about your supporters and why they come over here and watch me and then come back to you and say something or what you would call it, give me views. It's YouTube, okay? People can go wherever the fuck they wanna go. Nobody is tied to you, okay? If they wanna watch you and watch me and go watch other reactors, you not paying they Wi-Fi bill. I'm just saying, can't even pay your shit. I mean, these people are free to go wherever they wanna go. They can like you and wanna watch you and give you a view, but they can also like watching reactors too. Who said I have to be placed in any category? I mean, I go wherever I wanna go. So if you feel like it should just be tied to you and people don't move around, Girl, you got YouTube all the way fucking twisted. This ain't high school and this ain't no little kitty ass shit. People out here is grown for real, okay? Grown for real. They support who they want to support. And when you a lie and you in the wrong, that's just what it is. Ain't no other way around it. They definitely tell that the YouTube streets gets to her and breaks her down every time. Because every time she show her face, all she do is address, 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 and motherfucking address. I mean, you gonna be a creator? Just create. Create your shit and keep pushing. But you stay addressing, addressing, addressing. Not only addressing, turning the fucking comments off too. I mean, is we wearing on you heavy? I see. It's probably why they heard shifting shit. I mean, address, address. I'm address y'all because y'all said now your cooking look better than mine. I'm address y'all because y'all said I'm musty. I'm address y'all because y'all say I only do for myself and take care of myself. I'm address y'all because y'all got a petition out here. I'm address y'all because y'all said I called my baby a B I T C H and I didn't. I'm address y'all because y'all said I sent my son to school in that hoodie and I didn't know what he wore that morning. I'm going to address y'all because y'all saying my house don't be clean, but this. Address, address, address. I mean, where are you sending that shit to? <laughs> I mean. Now, let's go back. Let's also bring up. Y'all remember when Nika was going shop, okay? She was going shop for Leah. She would come on and say that Leah likes her clothes big. She wears like a large or X large, right? And so many of us would sit in the background and say, damn well, that girl is not that size. And then it also tells you, Nika, as I said before, she don't even know her kids' sizes from jackets to clothes, probably to undergarments, to shoe sizes. She has no fucking clue. But when you have your 19 year old daughter here clearly telling you what size she is, I mean, it says a lot. It says a lot about your character and your parenting. And then this is a situation where you need to be supervised within everything that you give or do because you don't even know your fucking self. She has to give you direction in every, every area. She has to give you direction on this is how you should be cooking and serving all these kids and also have more so they can come back. Then she also has to help you and show you this is what she wanted because this is what she liked, okay? So Nika is trying to get, I believe it was Leah a hoodie. Or a jacket, she's saying large, ex large. Now you have to correct her and say, no, she don't wear that. She's like a size medium. But you are the mother, okay? You're the one that's in the house. You're the one that, as she said, she, she put their clothes out at night so they can wear to school. She knows the sizes, right? I mean, you knew the size when the people, when the lady sent the fashion over, right? You knew the size. The jeans was too small. They should have got a size two, right? Hmm. Then I would ask y'all, do y'all think she get clothes because she know the size of somebody else that she can sell them to? Or is it something she wanna one day squeeze in herself? It makes no sense. If I'm a size medium, <laughs> I'm a size medium. I don't want a fucking large or X large. Y'all see how small Leah is. But, but remember y'all, she don't want her to look nice, right? She want her to look 
like a baboon, okay? <laughs> because that's what she looking like right now. <laughs> Can somebody tell Nika we haven't forgot, okay? Where's this girl Fashion Nova clothes? And that same box that was in there on the floor, okay, that was wet at the bottom with Lord knows what. That's the same box that you had over there in the corner that you put all the clothes in. So you could be out here getting a Christmas tree and buying little gifts here and there, but can you roll the cameras back and tell me what happened to her clothes? Who grabbed the clothes at the box? How did they leave the house? Where are they? Just saying, don't she got cameras in the boys' room? She got cameras in her house that she can go back and look at that can come on and also give the person, okay, or the bookie that purchased and sent the clothes, give her some type of confirmation of what happened to the things that she bought. I'm pretty sure she want to know because don't nobody got coins at her just to go and throw away. She took her time out of her day to make sure your daughter have and, and you just took that shit away and got rid of it real quick and real fast and then say, I don't know where the stuff at. Then I guess she think if I come with vlogmas or Christmas videos, they're not gonna question. We are gonna question because that box that was on the floor, that's the same box. So how did they just disappear? And somebody that has cameras and they house why you don't roll that shit back so it can give you confirmation of point a to point b to x y and z about the situation i mean see yeah that way lifeline situation payday right around after payday spending all my coins doing things okay for myself and what my car needs okay because she gonna take care of her car rather washing it whatever but then she'll be back i give her about next week okay down in the dumps and sad okay all attitudes and mad because you ain't gonna have no coins to go buy your pills you ain't gonna have coins to to you know, do the things that you like to do. So then you'll be coming on here talking about what you don't have and what you need. Because these are the same videos, routine, I would say, that we get every month. Every month after YouTube Play Day has hit. And we just sit and wait and we be on countdown like five, four, three, two, one, boom. There she go again. <laughs> I mean, you don't learn from no situation. Then I will also talk about why you're not giving, shoot, I think you should be giving Naya a good bit of your check because she walks around with you everywhere you go recording, okay? She the one holding the camera and doing the work of recording you and getting this angle and that. But you don't want to go and buy her two pair of pants out of Family Dollar. $18 is too much for you. Damn. <laughs> You owe her a good cut at your check, but yet again, I see why they be mad at you around payday too, because you don't want to give them anything. And that's pro probably why Papa no longer comes and record and do all those things. Cause as y'all know, he was doing it at first, but he didn't stop. <laughs> Papa don't be wanting to do shit. He don't even want to go out there and find a way and help himself. Cause as she said, they grown. He 18, but he grown. So he better find his way because mama surely ain't trying to help you. I mean, go get educated on how to fill out an application because she don't even know multiplication, addition, and she don't even know what a passenger mirror and a rear view mirror is without God. See that she is high as hell in this O'Reilly clip, okay? She going in there telling the people that she needs a rear view mirror, okay? She need a outside passenger mirror for the outside of her vehicle, but she calls it a rear view mirror. Another moment and another session where Naya has to correct her or send her off in the right direction because somewhere in there she is lost as fuck. The outside of the car. The Oh, y'all trying to tell you 
Just like being in Family Dollar. Which one should I get? Because six times six is 12. Okay, now you had to correct her on that situation. Six times six is 36. Six plus six is 12. But you have time to come on here and address people or want to talk to some, talk, I would say talk shit to people or it's la la. And I can't even get my shit together. I can't even comprehend. I can't even put it together. I don't even have the knowledge to know what's what. If my 19 year old daughter is not holding my hand and try to lead me on the situation with my kids, the things that I need and need to do. Whole fucked up situation. And <laughs> you think it's la la. <laughs> because I react on your videos and what you give and the neglect and how you all about self and not about supporting your kids or being there for them or doing what needs to be done for them. That I want you all upset. Girl, you don't even know what six times six is. Girl, go back and get your education. I guess before you even tried to address me, thank you slapping me, thank you hitting me with something. I can't comprehend with dumb shit. I just can't. <laughs> That's what you call the la la way and the fucking la la. I want y'all, before y'all drop something in her comments or Tell her what she not doing or what she can do better or give her advice. I want y'all to know her, okay? Because as she would say, she's really a sweet person. She she just want people, y'all need to get to know her before we get on here and say, girl, how did you send your son to school like that? Girl, why is it that you ain't getting these boys to know her? Cause girl, why is you in this video high as hell, don't know what you doing and giving? Girl, okay? Get to know me. Oh, okay. I guess you want people to email and inbox you, okay? Befriend you. Look like you're looking for a friend. That's what you're looking for. Get to know me. Nobody want to get to know you. If you don't take time out to get to know your kids and take care of their needs first over anything, get your baby up off the floor and allow her to get help so she can walk. Allow Elijah to get help instead of calling him a nasty dog. Nobody want to befriend you for fucking Keisha. I mean, and then that's where I say somewhere in there, some must not be clicking with her on some level. I mean, because I don't need to get to know you. I see fucking enough. And I think in and everybody that come in and make videos, they see enough to know you already and know you ain't about shit and know you neglectful, okay, as Fuck. Somebody put some respect on your name or your situation. Never can do that, okay? These kids can't get themselves out of this situation. That's why it takes so many of us to talk and talk for them. It takes so many of us to drag you and make you sick, okay? And make you fall down to say, well, maybe if I do this, they'll be quiet. We'll never be quiet, okay? Until you change the whole situation fully. Okay, till you furnish your house, till you do a little bit more for your kids than what you are doing, till you act like you want better and do better, until you look like you trying. You understand? That's all I have to say on this day, y'all. Y'all, that's it. That's all for this reaction video. So if you like this reaction video, let's throw those thumbs up. And if you have not, I do ask that you do do. Do 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 subscribe. But it's not by force, only by choice. But what you do have to do is drop y'all comments down below and tell me what you think about this whole sit-yo, sit -yo. Okay, what do y'all think about the gifts in the tree situation? Do you think she was waiting on her bookies or somebody to supply her with those items? Do you think she going out here and purchase all these gifts or supposedly 10 gifts for each kid herself or is she waiting on... <laughs> DSS or whoever works with them or some type of resource to donate something. I mean, and then tell me what you think about her not looking in the mirror. And when she do look in the mirror, she feel like the only thing she see is flowers and roses. I mean, anyways, y'all, see y'all in the next reaction video. Mm -hmm.